episode 58 it is uh april 18th so this will come out hopefully what in the next three days no no maybe by the 19th maybe by the 19th maybe by the 19th okay april 18th should come out the 19th um first thing we should probably talk about since the news just came out is these new lions jerseys what do we think they are ridiculously good the black with the blue helmet doesn't think that good the Motor City Muscle, the alternate blacks are the best. Like, the are the best. blacks the best? Yes. I, I sure. don't think so. I think a lot of people are going to be riding the black unis, but I, I like the gray and baby blue. That shit's sick. I like the blue. I like the blue. I like how we changed the blue letters from the white to the – or from the silver to the white. I think that looks good. Yeah. I think that looks good. And, and I, I like the that... all whites, too. I like the all whites. I think the all whites the are still going to be my blue favorite. again. Huh? So is the black just the color rushes then? Or those no, I think the NFL. Like an alternate. Yeah, I don't know if the NFL does the color rush anymore. Honestly, that was like a phase. I think we're out of that. Yeah, I like the uh, color rush unis. Like for all. Me teams, too. Kind of pure. Me too. I think I think we're a bit out of the color rush era. We got rid of the, the silver. We brought back the black. Yeah. I like it. I like yeah, I like it. Me too. Decent. I still like the baby blue the best. Well, I guess it's I cool. love the the powder, the Honolulu blue face mask, like makes the helmet now. Oh, yeah. The the blue face mask is weird, but it's good. Like the 90s, Barry Sanders. Yeah, I know. I like the all white the best, I think. That's my fave. I I think black, all white, and then the, the classic blue on silver, right? The blue, the blues look a little lighter, don't they? Me too. That's why I was saying baby blue because it looks lighter. I mean, yeah, it's it looks like in the video, but I think yeah, they color looks, match the '90s. Yeah, it looks lighter than huge. It's gonna be gross. The hype video, like I got chills a little bit. I'm Sick. not gonna lie. Oh, me too. I wish the that was would wear like an orange jersey again. Yeah. The Finn should be orange. Did you guys see the, the Packers and Eagles are when they go to play in Brazil, they can't wear the color green because really. The stadium reason yeah it doesn't they won't let them wear green either team so well, that's they're, good. they're both they're both green based correct i don't understand eagles gonna wear black packers gonna wear all white yeah but i mean they still Ooh. green. the eagles weren't all black black yeah i'll be unique they, ha- they already had that uniform yeah. in play right yeah can we play that lines video on here Is that or will we get copyright no play it you can probably play it all right there's Who's got the best connection? It's probably it probably shouldn't be me. Definitely not. We should look at like have you Come guys on. seen all the other releases of unis? The one on the YouTube channel. Bane. Who? Who? Ag? Uh, the Jets came out with new unis. Um, I the think Jets the didn't even change their uniforms. They look the exact the fucking same. They are, <laughs> the Jets didn't really do much. <laughs> Who else? Like they're, just so, they're such a classic team a that deal. you can't. Change the Jets. Oh yeah, the Falcons. Uniform, did, yeah. Really. The Jets are like too old to change their Do you shit. You think Kirko Chain is about to go nuts in Atlanta or what? Yes. Straight off of Achilles there. I think they'll win that division. I think yeah. I mean, I think that division's weak. Yeah, division's weak. Did you guys see that T Higgins is in um, Pittsburgh right now? For like in is the last he? couple of days, he like put it on his story or something. I don't know if he'll go to Pittsburgh. Why would he leave Cincy? And we got the draft know. coming up too. Him and Kool-Aid. fucking. Yeah. Hopefully we get Kool Aid. Kool Aid to the D, I think. I think that's the move. I hope. I think they may have to trade up for him, maybe. No, I don't think so. I keep I keep seeing that like, it's like Brad Holmes walking out of the bus, and it's like yeah, something about tra- trading up. I don't. I don't know. Then didn't we trade down last year? Um, yeah. I don't even Can't know, hear it. but, but Holmes is the best drafter. So you don't, they, those look lighter, but oh, I love gosh. it. 
Yeah. Main volume. Volume's all the way up, so I don't know what's going on. I can't. I can't hear it either. It's fucking mute. Maybe we just it's do a, a, a Google images of the three uniforms. It's just Hutch talking, anyways. I yeah. think. And then Sam Brown. I'm pretty sure at the end. Yeah. Those look. Those look clean. Yeah, yeah. I like clean them. as fuck. I like them. Those are. Those are pure. Those are pure. I'm glad they got the WCF off there. Do you guys know what that stood for? I like Detroit there. That's sick. WCF. Yeah, what does that even stand for? It was for, like, the late owner Ford. I don't know what his full name What's was. What's his first but... name? No Walter? idea. I yeah, I have no idea. Hank Ford? Hank. It's a William Clay Ford. That's what it's William about. Clay. William Clay. Yep. William. Apparently Clay. that was a curse. That, like, now that it's gone, it's the curse is lifted. I don't get this part. What is he doing there? What is that? Clocking in, baby. Clocking in. Time card. Never, Have you ever seen ever a time, time card? Oh, 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 oh. How you used oh. to work and clock in. I had that at the You time. didn't do that at TV, did you? Nope. I do it at golf. Yeah, country, sick. So. This is, this is it, right? This is the jersey. Marketing team and doing this shit for, like, a This is That'd be sick. Yeah, it's sick. I think the blue helmet's just kind of the tame. blue helmet's gross. The blue helmet's gross. Like we've we had two, the black. We're gonna bring these out. Black on black. That'll be sick. They're gonna have us even, open up against somebody even sick. That color. Even that blue color on the black it looks different. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's. Cool. Yeah. They they did a good job. Well done. Well done by the Lions marketing team there too. Sick yeah. video. Sick video, Triv. Yeah. Let me let me Three bring up my 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 spare trivia question first. Dixon, we can do three, but this is nice. this is one of them, and it's not going for points. And then you you start it with the Triv. Okay. What do you got? So Christian Blosh gave me a call two oh, days ago. He's on vacation down in Florida, and he goes, "Hey, I need you to guess this college." Ooh. I go, okay. And he's like, he's like, it's. It's in Florida. I just was like, all right. So that was the first. That was all he gave me. So I just started naming off colleges, right? Okay. That's it. We're going to start from exactly there. What college in Florida am I thinking of? What? Just like, as we go, I'll build it up. Is it exactly how we did? What? Wait, wait. What tier? What tier of school? Division Uh, one. Or we got to start from ground zero. Just start start from ground zero. Florida, Florida State. Yeah, Florida, Florida State, UCF, um, FAU, uh, Florida Gulf Coast, USF, FAMU, no, FAMU. Right. Oh, here we go. Stats it is stats. not a division. It is not a um, how do I not a division one? It's a division one, I think, but it's not oh, it's like an HB. a FBS team. HBCU. Okay. Okay. Good. Fam, is it FAMU? Uh, yeah, is it FAMU? Florida. Florida and M. No. Um, is it, um, is it, I don't know. I might be out. I got Howie Jackson, and, Jackson and family. No, nope. I was actually baffled that this college was in Florida. I did not know this. Would we know University? Nope. Would we it's know in it? Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach. Daytona, Daytona Beach, all black school. Um, is it an all black school? It is. Yeah. It's HB. Howard. Nope. No, Howie's a little north, I think. What does it start with? Can you give that away? Uh, I can give you the next, the final hint Christian gave me before I got it. Okay. It revolves around the devil's lettuce. Really? Sort of. We just say it all the time. Okay. (laughs) Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Ooh. William and Mary. No. Conja you. <laughs> no. Oh, Kiefer. No. Grinder. Um, I'm stumped oh. here. Um, Kush. So going towards the weed, it's it's not necessarily the weed itself. It's like what you are with the weed. High Thank Point you. University. No. High well, Point. Yeah. <laughs> um, Stone. You're getting close, Connor. 
Stonehenge. Yeah, Stone- Colony University. Yeah, Close. Malignate. Good first letter. Yeah. Okay, B. Baker. Baker College. Baker. Baker College. Baker College. No. You <laughs> just what I said. Baked? Um, Baked. Nope. Blown Barry, Barry we University. We see it all the time. Barry. Barry University. No. Blown. We say it's it all got the time. Two Syllables? first names, basically. Yeah, then, two names. Two names. So it's like uh so it's like high point. Yeah. Or something. Starts with a B. <laughs> Baked beans. Oh. Oh, you got it's it. Beth- Bethany Cookman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Bethune Cookman. I was like, Bethune wait a minute. Cookman. That's in fucking Florida? I didn't know. Damn, that that's Florida. a good find. Yeah, Daytona? There's a there's a guy at the Flint Elks and his son played college golf at Bethune Cookman. I do know the school. I just didn't put that together. That is it's something Cookman. that is something we say. Bethune Cookman. Good yeah. find by Shien. Good find. Good pull, Bushton. I was we like, dig there. Like, wait a minute, it's in Florida? Yeah. Oh, I'm like, Arkansas or some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, you'd oh. think. Okay. Stock, Triv, season four. Brand new. Brand new season. Season four. Um, Ag and Ninner won last season. This is the, the problem with two questions. You get a tie every time. No, you don't. That was the I'm first tie. Oh. That was the first tie ever. Um, okay, here we go. Points go overall. Nenner's got a big lead. 126. Dixon, 106. Ag, 105. Um, you boys each have a title now, which is good. E, good pick up there. But here's the question. Half a title. Um, title. Here we go. You ready? Um, the sports or what? Nope. We're gonna go one one rando, one sports. We'll start with the rando. Um what? How's it being answered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Um first to name it. First to name it. Okay. First one, first one off the receipts. I'll take a listen and first one to get it gets the point. What restaurant is known as or referred to as America's drive in? Sonic. Sonic. Good. Dixon. Okay. I'm not that you guys ever had a fucking Sonic? No, never had it. I You've never it. had it? It's not pleasant. That was food. To you on fucking skates or some shit? I think it's yeah. better than Sonic. Yeah, yeah. NW is solid. Never been to NW either. They rollerblade out to you. Yeah, Sonic's good. I've been to Sonic. Man, you got you a like Sonic, Sonic and PH, don't you? We don't have a Sonic. It's all right. I mean, I haven't had it in years. Maybe once, I think. Long have time. Have you ever seen this video of the Sonic worker? No. Is it? Oh, here it is. Was he straight go curtain call out? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> yep. Um, all right. Something <laughs> random. Something random that I that I thought of, like, this week. Nobody knows what like other people's pain feels like correct yeah, everybody is this because we talk about it all the time we've never talked about this you, you always know, ask me about what i feel like every a freaking morning. pinch could feel like death to someone yeah like dixon your neck hurts but yeah but here's the thing is that as I, bad as when when my back was killing me nobody knows i don't i don't know i mean i know for a fact that i've you know, I've broken both my arms. I almost died in first grade. My brain was bleeding internally. So, like, I can deal with pain pretty well. And, like, I don't know. It hurts, but I don't know how bad it would hurt to you. So that's a good That's a good question. Like, I deal Nobody with it knows. every day. But I don't know how bad it would hurt if you had it. Yeah, exactly. Or like I don't if know how bad your back me. pain would hurt if I had it. Right. So well, that's well, wild. I, I think it's kind of different, too, because, like, with back pain, Apparently, like, 80% of people walking around have some form of, like, a herniated disc or a bulging disc. But it just is kind of dependent on whether or not it's rubbing on nerves. So, in certain people, it could be rubbing on a nerve, causing more pain. And 
another person would have the same exact issue, but it just not being on the nerve and you not feel really anything. So that's all good point. Too. But that's we just question, have though, Connie. we have no idea. Like I, I got a headache and it kills me, but how bad is your headache? I don't know. Well, it's a million dollar bad. question right there. <laughs> right. Does it? Uh, what about is there, when? Is there an answer? When we were, when we were at like uh, Uncle Pete's and he was digging into my neck with the with the needle. Yeah. Could you feel that pain? Just watching it. <laughs> watching it. it like, oh, yeah. It twitching. You could hear it. You could hear. <laughs> you could hear. Grinding it. on my freaking bones. Yes. Basically. Yes. But I don't know what it felt like. It probably feels similar. Wow. I think to him doing the same thing to me, but I got no clue. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. Yeah. We don't know. We have no idea. It's weird. It's kind, of, it's kind of like this question. I had this thought one time. Like, what do other animals see? Yeah, right? Yeah. Or what's going on in their heads like when they, like, talk to each other? Like, what did they say? Or, like, what are yeah, they I don't know if they like, process it or anything. Right now. Well, they like, do process do they it, but I don't know how it... Do they communicate based on, like emotion kind of like the way they like i think so like i guess not say something but the way they make a noise or whatever yeah like dogs barking what does that mean yeah or whining like whining they're sad or want something. you know what i always wonder if dogs could talk what would like i always thought of this about rocky what would he sound like? right would he have like an italian accent <laughs> yeah exactly like, <laughs> exactly <laughs> I like a know, German freaking... Shepherd, does he talk like like Moritz Wagner, or does he is he English? Yeah. <laughs> right. What is what's your dog's name, Nick? Rufus. Hugo. 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 That's such a stock German name. Yeah, but he's, he's an Australian Shepherd. So he's, but he's Aussie. Like, what's up? So mate? you think he's yeah? Like is he saying mate? Or sh- shrimp yeah, on a bobby, dog. mate? That's nuts. To go to the loo. That is crazy. Or if, if we could bark, that's how we yeah, communicate. We do bark. Yeah. Should, should we go around the horn and I'll bark and see what we sound like? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we should try. Top bark. Top bark. <laughs> top bark. Top five bark. Top, right, yeah, top five barks. Bulldog at one. That's vicious. White birch tree, pine Rottweiler. tree. Rottweiler. That shit's spewing out saliva. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys see that video of Mike Tyson doing like a twenty yard sprint? The way he Wait. sounded. <laughs> Seven second twenty yard dash. It sounded like he was like a bulldog, a French bulldog running to a bowl of food is what they said. Was it? Yes. I didn't see it. What do you guys think about the Jake Paul fight? That's fucking crazy, right? Like that's like bullshit. He's a seven that's sixty year old dude. I think Mike Tyson can knock him out if he wanted to. I think it's a money grab. But I think Yeah, it's I bet you there's something in, like, their contract, like a signing clause, where none of them can get knocked out. Like, you can't. I just Maybe. think that's it's not a legal Why do people pay for that? Because I think they're not drug testing. Well, it's not even, you know, there's no uh, or anything, unless it, there's a knockout. It's, like, just an exhibition. You know who's yeah, totally testing? Like, like, Garcia. They're not, te- they're not drug testing. If that kid's what is up with that guy? He is on, like. Something beyond cocaine. Is he? he is. Did you see saying. the video the, no. of the press? He was like saying, Jesus, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, thank you. Then by the end of the press conference, he was like, I'll put my fucking dick in your mouth. In your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck what? your mother. I, was he? And then he gets yeah, on these right. Instagram lives, which I'll see sometimes, and he'll just be crying like he the weirdest the shit. Higher upper class people. But like that higher society of people or whatever controlling everything. I don't know. Yeah, that's wild. But he's I'm like, he was watching something. Was saying like him off camera and stuff. He's like completely fine. He acts normal. Like nothing's even wrong. With him. Did you boys watch the, the UFC fight last week or no? Yeah, no. unreal. I, was I did. It was crazy. I heard it was a good card. I watched the highlights a little bit. But... It was uh, Max Holloway uh, versus uh, Justin Gaethje. Uh, last like, 10 seconds, Max yeah. Holloway pointed at the ground, and that means, like, just go at it. Basically, whoever gets knocked out is losing, obviously. Yeah, like, and, they, uh, they met in the with middle. With one second, yeah, with one second left, Max Holloway caught Gaethje with a freaking overhand right and just 
Tucky dump straight Let's slumped see. on the floor. I saw that video. Yeah, it was a good, good ass fight. It was sick. Yeah, I didn't watch it. How old, How'd you watch it, eh? You paid for it? You, how long do you think you last in a ring with, like, we'll just say Conor McGregor? You got a minute. Did you make it? Oh, there? God. Think any of us out in. He wouldn't there. even last 30 seconds. Not even. U- UFC. U- UFC or boxing? We don't box. UFC. Yeah, no, no I'm cooked. No. I'm cooked. Yeah, but like, what if you Under, just ran around the ring for a little bit? Under 12. I didn't even grab you. Yeah. And check you out. You have seen it. It's under 12 seconds, I think. I'm done. Not That's even. scary, Oh, my bro. gosh. Like, fucking five seconds. Yeah. Probably. As as Did you watch that movie? House movie? Yeah. Uh, it's good. With uh, McGregor's in it. He looks fucking massive. Yeah, I think he's really. He's fighting. Did you hear that? Who's the other guy in that? It's the. I can't think of his name. Raise the main guy. Is it on okay. Netflix? It's on Amazon Prime. It's Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor. Oh, that scene. one. What's it called? Yeah, they... Roadhouse. It's a remake of an older film that was also called Roadhouse back in the day. You watched it, Nina? What's it about? It's like fighting. It's good? It's all right. Jake Gyllenhaal. It's exactly like the first they, one. They filmed a uh, part of the movie at a UFC event. A real... A uh, real event, and they just like were in the middle of the ring, in the fight. So you know. Mm. Um, another good one a, here. You got a another, movie another, trivia? No, 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 no. I I got a sports trivia, but wait, we we should talk about this. This is a hot. I mean, no, it's always been hot. But if a if a um player now were to go back then and play. You think it'd be, you think it'd be, uh, yeah, but what's he dominate? I'm, I mean, we could, we could say any sport. We could go it's at different. any sport. It's I think, different. I th- yeah, no, I think so too. I think it's this each sport, but like in golf, if, if, um, Scotty went back and played in 1974, would he win the event by 20 shots? No, not by twenty shots. But he would definitely win more, and he's so dominant now. Okay, so how about this? How about like a mid-tier guy, like Joaquin Neiman, goes back and plays against Jack and Trevino and Arnie and them? He'd probably you... be like a top fifteen on tour, I would think. I don't know. It's kind of hard to answer that in golf, just because like everything's different now. Everything's nicer now, and things are easier to hit. Now think about it. Like in the '60s, they were hitting fucking wood drivers that were this big. Exactly. And if so, you toe balled it, it fucking went 900 yards left. Right. So I feel like if you brought an old player to the modern golf game, I think they would be more dominant than they were. If they were that good with those clubs. Oh, I think there's a uh, more higher. You think if you brought Jack now in all sports. Now there was he would be in like Obviously. Yeah. I think there's your top tier talent, like in all eras, obviously. But I think, like nowadays in all sports, there's a there's a lot more people in that tier one talent bubble than there are than there was back in the day. Okay, yeah. but what about what about other sports though? I can I think I can point my like, finger on LeBron and basketball and, and say somebody LeBron. now would definitely average thirty six points a game back then in hoops. Yeah, but you oh. have to. You have to think about this. Okay, this is going to go against my argument that I always have with my boss because I always say LeBron would fucking dominate against the milkmen in the 80s that MJ played against. But right, there is, right there. it is correct when he does tell me, like, if you're going to pull him back to the 80s, okay, like, he probably didn't have – he was good in high school, obviously. But, like, he wouldn't have the training, the nutrition that he has. Like, you have to pull all that away as well. Right, like, and he would get banged up for going to the hoop. They like it was so much more physical. Yeah, but the talent yeah. gap, I think, is what I'm getting at. Is better now, especially yeah, it's more in saturated. basketball. It's more yeah, saturated. It's and I think same thing for golf. I mean, these kids are 13. This kid, Miles, whatever his name is, just shot 68 oh, on the Corn Ferry Tour. Oh, 
That yeah. that was sick. I I was with him this summer. I showed you a swing when I was with him at the Wyndham yeah. Cup, and he was on the he played in the Corn Ferry event today. Shot sixty eight. He's fifteen. Yeah, he's gross. Yeah. He's so good. Super cool kid too. That's sick. But like, what about like baseball? Like, you think like oh, Mike dude, Trout? I've seen footage of back Babe the Ruth back then. Million. They were pitching at about fifty miles an hour. It looked like. I know. Yeah, See, that's where it's. In the day and put him into bed. I think if you put Trout in like the sixties, seventies, he would dominate. But like once you get into like the eighties, nineties, it'd be kind of similar. Because the equipment back then, I mean, they're using a wood bat. I always think about the, there's a picture on Twitter, and it was like talking about Tiger Woods. And it was like, Tiger Woods has the Barry Bonds head delta, which is like the difference before roids and after roids, and how big his fucking oh, head yes. got. Yes. Yeah. Barry Bonds was juiced, and I don't care what anybody Yeah. Says. Oh, oh no, 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 that's confirmed. The Hall of that's Fame. confirmed he was <laughs> juicing. That is confirmed. I, I kind of wish we were in the, the Royd era when everybody was juicing, bro. Sammy they Sosa, Bonds, and Seiko. I like, I would love for a on, fucking 440-foot bomb out to left field in Comerica. Hold on, repeat that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't hear either of you. Go ahead, man. You can go first. And I said I would love, like, a 440-foot bomb out to left field in Comerica or, like, clearing the fucking hedges. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in, in the yeah. spaces. Yeah, I was saying how uh, the Hall of Fame, like there's the restrictions now, like all the people that took PEDs back in the, back in the day, they can't get in the Hall of Fame. But I think they still should because they were, they were nasty back another, then. Sammy Sos, another, Barry Bonds, those guys should be in the fucking Hall of Fame. Another good yeah. argument there. Uh, you think they should be? I think so. I think I'm there with you. think it's worth the sacrifice? I think I'm there with you. Your nuts say to like juice like oh, that, man, that should, and then not get in the Hall of Fame? I mean, when no. did he die? He probably died when he was 60 because of roids. Yeah, but also you got to think of how many other guys cheated that we don't know about um, in that era. Roids right now. You know who yeah, fucking exactly. cheated? Patrick Mahomes. When he went to that locker room at halftime of the Super Bowl and came out with a fresh fucking leg, they gave him something. They gave him something that probably, probably wasn't legal. They probably gave they him probably fucking morphine in him and called it good. Is that even legal? I don't know. Did you know that they, caffeine? When, I guess caffeine's a performance enhancing drug. No way. Sweat. Nicotine, nicotine is because caffeine and nicotine are the same thing. Just nicotine is more big. I'm pretty sure that that's a real thing. I don't think, I mean, obviously there's laws in different leagues to which obviously you can probably drink right. coffee, but like right. it is considered a PED, I'm pretty sure. Well, or like creatine? In, yeah, like in college, like you're an athlete, you can't take creatine or a high caffeine pre workout because you can get drug tested and it'll show up positive as a performance enhancing drug on the drug test. Dixon, you take creatine? Yeah, what? I'm, I'm up in some weight right now. <laughs> Honestly, they're right. Hey, you take creatine too? I've been on it. We we talked about this when we were together. Right? We both started around the same time. Started in May last year. Oh no, I thought you said the like the beginning of this year. Okay, well I started in. You've like, been on it that long? Yep. Dude, I can Anything put else? so much more weight than I ever have. I swear. Like when it loads up over time, you kind of get that extra little um. What are the bennies of it though? So basically, it mm-hmm. just hydrates your muscles. Yeah, and keeps them more retained in your muscles and helps them grow faster, heal faster. Um, yeah, that's the main benefit, right there. Mm-hmm. You can heal mm-hmm. faster and have more sand. It doesn't like make you like actually bigger. It just kind of almost helps recovery throughout the yeah. workout. I don't think I'd ever take it. Creatine is something you get automatically from eating red meat, Connie. Yeah. And you get creatine all the time. It's just in a lesser amount. Your body can't can't take in enough creatine to make really your body fully saturated, full of it. Yeah, you get it from any type of red meat. Really? So you're just taking okay. it in powder form. Actually, it's the most studied supplement in like the workout industry. Yep. Oh, without yeah. a doubt, because everybody takes because it. Because you have to drink a lot of water. Not a lot, but you have to stay hydrated because it. 
it takes all the water and puts it into your muscles. So you gotta have enough water in your system. System. Have, so you don't. You ever, dehydrated. you ever had a night of drinking while you're still on, like while you're on creatine and you don't drink enough water and you wake up the next morning, even if you didn't drink a lot and you just feel like, like you're dying. Yeah, I, mean, I even I have, have it if I'm sober. I, I can drink like four beers and I still get hungover. Shit, it's stupid as hell. Okay, really? but, okay. Even when I'm sober, sometimes if I forget to drink like a decent, like a gallon of water a day. And I'm taking it like two scoops of it. I feel so hungover the next morning, and I didn't even drink because you're so dehydrated. You really have to like. Really? Your body can't even take it. Yeah, you can. You can load it up, but it's not a lot. I mean, the scooper's this big. Oh, you got a tiny scoop. Each scoop is the uh, uh, perfect amount for your ba- uh, for your body to be fully saturated, full of it. So taking two uh, scoops doesn't do anything. I've been taking two for Dr. E. and a half. It's a waste of creatine. Don't do it. Yeah, but that's what if your scoop's two milligrams and mine is two if grams and mine is on your on your bottle. One to two. One to two. Okay, then you're fine. But, I'll keep uh, going at it. This this could lead down a, a good path. I right, keep going. Tell him he's wrong. Egg, you can probably, we're going to be on the same page here. Egg, tell me you haven't felt, like, better in the gym when you take it compared to when you used to not take it. No, I feel way better. Yeah, me too. It's actually, like, I don't know if it's a lot of placebo or not, but it's. Yeah, but you wake up, you, you just said you wake up and you feel like a. You just if you don't drink enough train. water. If you don't Drinking. drink enough water. Alcohol is poison to your body. Yeah, that's true. I realized that after college, for sure. For sure. It is brutal. Like once a month now. All right. Let me get uh, one really more trivia because that's a perfect segue into our top five after. Okay. Okay. Yeah, another trip. Another trip. Um, this is a good one. This is a good one. All right. So here, uh, it's going to be first to say it, but you have to get you have to get both correct to seal the one point. All right. You'll you'll understand it after after this question. Um. So, NBA related because we got the plofs coming up. We're all big NBA heads. Hey, how do you think the Bucks will do? I think they're winning it all. I don't know. They haven't been playing very good. Yeah, I an NBA game all year. Yeah. Me neither. So no, me neither. Um. All right, here we go. Uh, you okay. got a name. You got a name. You got to get. You got to get both here to get to secure one point. You got to name the two Eastern Conference teams that are the farthest from each other in terms of distance. Miami Heat and Miami Miami Heat, Detroit Pistons. Bucks. Minnesota Timberwolves. Correct, Nin. Very, very, very quick again. Minner, Bucks and Heat are the farthest away from each other in terms of distance. Then he gets another one. See, that's too quick. Then gets one point. I just gotta make them harder, I guess. I mean, Dixon, you usually suck at trivia. Yeah. Usually it's Nenner. But you got Sonic right off the rip. That yeah, was good. This this is what I'm saying is like we need more than two though each episode. I we can I ask the people on here. We're on the record. Maybe they can respond yeah. in the comments if they watch. Do, we, do we need more? I think we may need more. I think trivia is probably the best part of our episode besides the top five. So I think you could ask one more right now. That's part. No, I don't got another one lined up. I'd have to pull it out of my brow, and I don't got that. But um, okay, here we go. In the comments, in the I com- want to give you comments. a fact though. Before we move on from everything, I saw that talking about Scotty Scheffler, he's on a in, an insane run. But in order for him to match Tiger, he has to stay at number one for twelve more well, years. Yeah, that's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> How? How do you even do See how that? dominant Tiger was? Tiger was nuts. And Scotty's winning every tournament he ever touches right now. But and Tiger 12, 12 more years, years right though? Now. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. When Tiger did that, I got to be honest, I think the competition was a little top heavy. And then, like, after the top 10, it wasn't super difficult compared to now. Like, we just talked about a 15 year old shooting 68 on the Corn Ferry Tour. I would agree. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Bill. But like Bill and so, him yeah. were the top. So you're saying you're yeah. saying it's deeper now. Right? It is deeper. Without I mean, a doubt. The, without the world a doubt. number I one agree. changes every other. Everybody can agree on that for sure. 
for sure. It's way deeper now. So it's going to be harder for Scotty to sustain yes. that is what you're saying. Correct. 100%. Yes. So if he does. That guy's kind of nasty right now. Ludy. Ludy's gross. What did he so shoot good. today? What did I don't know. How did our boys do today? Let me well, check. Say Scotty with two under. Another under round. Oh, Scotty will be T1 by day three. Alan's one of his teams. He found something at the Masters. He's doing Do it. we like that it's it's this high elevated event right after the stirs? It's a little weird, but I mean, I don't know. It's really weird. I'm oh, not yeah, Marie is T2. Oh, he's T2? Okay, good. Minus eight, Sladen. Ludwig Shane. Yeah, you got, you got mm-hmm. Kim Young. He's at four deep. Me and Damn, Dixon. Really? Dixon's one deep, and I got Maddie Fitz at one deep. Fucking that cut line. Uh, event going on. It's like the Corals. Corrales. <laughs> it's the Corrales. <laughs> <laughs> the Corrales Cruz Shout out Wesley Bryant. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, yeah he, he is, is by three. Are they still lighting up YouTube, the Bryant brothers, or no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, do you guys watch Bryson on YouTube? Oh, it's, I love Bryson. I see his TikToks. I, I mean, I just he lights up Snapchat too. He pops up. He's giving a free like game. Him. He gives a lot of lessons on there, a lot of free tips. I think everyone uh, went on that little. For some reason, there was like a little tangent that everyone went on and started hating Bryson. Yeah. Small play. Kepka and him. I like. Saying Augusta's a par sixty-seven. Probably shot sixty-five. Yeah. He can pretty much drive yes. anywhere and then miss the cut. That's when that stint was, and I didn't like it. I don't think really anybody did. No, but, he was like, yeah, he was beefed. He was beefed, but he looks good now. He, he looks had a wider he neck. Looks pure now. He had a wider neck than Connie in 2019. Yeah, did he have a wider neck than me back in 19? <laughs> I can note it. Yeah, no, he had a wide ass neck. He did have a wide piece. His neck and his traps were the same thing. <laughs> Who? Sully? Sully. Sully. <laughs> five necks on tour. <laughs> so five necks that on got to be number one on that. That would be that would be an obscure top five, but I think that would be good actually. That would be hilarious. Next one's got to be wild as fuck. Top, top five, five nostrils. Yeah. Top five, yeah, teeth or next, yeah, nostrils. <laughs> yeah, strolls would be good. Next, what about time. Top what five about Clark? lobes? Hey, how much how much did Clark get for uh, her salary? Like 178,248. Like, what, 80K or something like that? And she got offered, like, 10 million by Dave Portnoy to come play. She's only and, making, uh, like, 400,000 for four years or whatever. Yeah, but she's already worth, like, $7 million just from her own eye. Yeah. yeah. I don't really get that much of a... She got a state farm. Yeah. All of her money's from that. Yeah, yeah state, state farm. All sponsorship deals that she's getting paid. You know who else has state farm? Golkey. Golk's got State Farm. Yeah, he blew up, too. I thought he was Turbo I thought it was into State it? Farm. No, Golky and Into? Maybe you're right. Turbo Tax accountant. Maybe. Is he going to get drafted? Or is he going to go overseas? He will be a lost soul in three months. I don't even think he'll play. You know he went to Hillsdale before Oakland? Yes, yes I did know that. Yes. Did you see Trey Townsend is uh, taking a visit to Michigan? Is he? Yeah. He's from Dixon, you got to you, you feel good about Michigan getting that the new FAU coach. That's going to be sick for them. They're going to yeah. get so many good players. Dusty, man. Last year. Dusty. Basically getting all them guys. What is it? Uh, John Davis or whatever? That guy's here. Yeah, let's, get it, let's get into our top five here. Okay. It's going to be... I think this is probably one of the better ones we've done. It seems mm-hmm. like a lot of us didn't understand it, but top five. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go to my notes here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see me. You're good for now. Just flip it back sideways. Don't know. You are paused. Well, hang on. Let me just transfer it over to the top. Yeah, or write them down, eh, or something. All right, here we go. This week's top five is going to be top five situational beverages. Situational so, bevs. Preferably an alcoholic beverage, and then that moment that goes along with it. But if you have, for whatever reason, Connie, after like, I don't know, a long stint on the toilet, the first bottle of water, you get the hammer, maybe. chew on the cap, first cap, tall, you maybe. I don't know. 
Um, yeah, preferably alcohol. So let's start with uh, let's start with County. Start with me? Yeah, because you weren't too sure about your list. So I want to see what. Yeah, you so have. I can I defer or no? No, we're not going to do any deferrals here. <sighs> okay, here we go. Um. Okay, here's my list. Um, number five is going to be beer on the golf course. Give me a coo- eh, well, I mean, yeah, I'll go beer on the course. Give me a kugel on the course. That's always the best one. Especially if I'm like playing with you boys or like up north trip, and it's like the the whole point of the trips to get buckled, then that starts it usually in the morning. Morning tea time, kugel, right off the rip. I'm usually drunk off of one at that point if it's if it's real early. That's the best. Cracking that one. That's number five. Four hole is going to be another one up north classic. Beer at the Bonnie. Beer at the bonfire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that cool. is my four hole. Beer at the Bonnie, um, especially at BC. Baylor, those were always the best. Usually Claws there. And then G-Pow like some, says some – yeah, and then G and E get it, get into it. That's the best. That, that was unreal. I want to go back a little bit. <laughs> you, um, I, <laughs> wait, hold on. Do you remember when we were all at the bonfire and then I'm sitting there looking next door to where you guys ended up living? And then you could see right <laughs> through the window in the shower. Yeah, and they were pumping in the shower next <laughs> yeah. door Right? Uh, security yeah, that was not. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, security guard neighbor, E. That was him. Joe. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Oh, no, it was different people. Oh, was it? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. All right. Um, three. Dixon, maybe you can relate to this. Um, me and Sean going on a date, I get a glass of wine. That's I like that. Red wine r- Red wine at dinner on a date. Um, I, li- I like the red wine. No doubt, that's three hole. Two, all of us boys can relate, except for maybe Nenner. I don't know if you're on the fee train or not, but give me a fee. On the way to work in the morning, early weekday, coffee, um, early in the a.m. That's number two. Number one for me um, is a beer at the ball game. Comerica Park, give me a ice cold something. Um, can or bottle or cup, either one. Beer at the ball game. Give me the ballpark. I'm already going to be in a sick mood. Combo of beer with it, even better. Can't lose with that. That's my one. Dixon, you're going two here. Okay. All right. So I need to I need to start by saying I went all alcohol here, but I have to to say because I thought that's the way we were going with it, but I need to add in. And it's not going to be my honorable mention. The first coffee before morning hunt is like filled Ooh. with unbelievable hype. I, it, so. uh, yeah, I was going to I was going to mix in some kind of hunting thing. OK, I have but, that as my H&M sneak peek. But Dixon I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change what I have now, but I had to add that in. Number five, first beer on a boys golf trip that you crack when you get on the course. Let's go. Okay. Number four is going to be also golf course related, specific drink, first transfusion on the golf course. Oh, Those hit different. Are you Those hit a little bit there? different. Oh, yep. A little Owen Mixel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, yeah. because if I'm going to start with beer, I'm going to finish with beer. But if I start with the tranny, I'm going to finish with the tranny. So two different things. Okay. Um, number three, first beer. And this is a rewarding one. First beer after shooting a deer. When you're there, about to start tracking, crack a beer while you're going through the woods. You're tracking the beer blood. Posted. You got a beer, beer can in hand. Um, number right. two, first drink on the boat. So I didn't okay. really, because it, it's different. It, it, first, it could be tequila, vodka, beer, I don't know, whatever it is that day. So first drink on the boat um, is topped here. And then number one, I don't think there's a more rewarding beer than after this a long day working outside whether it's in the woods or doing yard work or anything like that and you're sweating in the summer and then that beer's been ice cold in the cooler and you pull that thing out and you crack it the most refreshing beer you can have is that yeah after some garden work garden work woodwork whatever it may be and then crack one inside all right all right like that 
Dave. Yeah. All right, let's uh, uh, let's go to Egg, even though he's paused. Or at least on okay. my screen, he is. Yeah, he is for me too. But we got a deal. <laughs> I'm not paused. Yeah, he is. Yeah, you are. You look like Shador Sanders in the back of the pocket. <laughs> yeah. Shiloh. Um, Nan, am I good here or what? You're, uh, you look like, uh, have you ever seen South KJ. Park? You look like the Chinese man on South Park. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm just going to put this disclaimer out there. Definitely would have picked coffee, uh, for one, two, three, four, five. Did eight. you go all alcohol too? Yeah. All beer. Yeah. Um, so starting at five, a pre going out shower beer. That's a good one. Oh, that's oh, a good one. I Oh, good call. Um, number four is going to be uh, pre-flight airport beer. Egg. That's a good Egg one. All. And then that's, that's a good amazing. one. But three is going to be a golf beer. Um, the first golf beverage. Just get on a course and then kind of fall there. Number two is like the first day of warm weather. After fucking shit ass winter. It's a nice day outside, and you crack a yeah. cold one, and you're outside fucking around because it's like 55 degrees out, and it's like that. Yeah. Number one, one, number one, number one is going to be the first beer you drink with your dad that isn't like weird. It's like a normal thing to like you drink yeah. with your dad. That's this like is the best, best list you've ever had because those were really good. Yeah, that's the one. We had, if we had a compi here, a beer with multi polls, I would win this. Beer with multi. <laughs> yeah, we'll sell one out. We'll sell one out. Beer with multi at the I, one hole. I would take it. I would take it. Already. I don't even think yeah, I have We got to let the people good. decide. Pretty good. But I do it's like the pre going out beer. I, I like the pre going out beer. I missed that one. E. That would. That's a good one. That's gonna be my H and L. Spoil. Airport, airport drink too. I like the airport one, but I don't. I don't know if I like. That's just, like, a sick one. I don't know if I, like, do that, though, much. I mean, we did when we went to, like, the Keys, Dixon. I was right? absolutely ripped on the way back from Germany by myself. Getting ripped tonight. I was cooked. I had the worst headache for, like, the last Ooh. four hours. Of life. Yeah. Because we, we were in Comfort Plus, and they gave you free alcohol. So I just kept getting these shooters of Jack. And I'd throw, like, three in with a little Coke. Next thing I know, I'm, like, just. You're just. Eat. Yeah, buckled. Oh, it was, it, it was terrible, actually. Yeah. Cool. All right, Bane. Yeah. My, my five hole is just a water. Right, like, right when I wake up right now, I've been drinking a water bottle. It's like the greatest Aquafina ever. I don't know why. No, good one. Yep. I'm thirsty every fucking morning. I will chug a bottle of water. Water after wake. Yep. Four hole. Connie already mentioned it. Tigers game. Yep. First thing I'm doing on getting there, give me a tall Bud Light. <laughs> Even yeah. though it's like 14 bones, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Five, five, you're already immaculate. <laughs> yes. Three hole. Just give me a nice bonfire beverage. It yep. doesn't matter what it is. When everybody's around doing the same thing, vibes are good. I don't care what you're drinking. Yes. Preferably tour beer. <laughs> Mickey. Mickey. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. Or or a shandy. A shandy's pretty good at the yeah. summer nights. Oh yeah. Yes. My favorite. Um number two. Give me the tranny at the fortress at the golf course. Specific. Okay. They had the best tranny. tranny. The well they had that mix that was just they had the bar stool one. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah, that one's amazing. It doesn't even taste like there's any elk. But no, then you get hit. Hose then, seven. Then you get hit, and that's the box. And then number one, it's a nice 90 degree day out on the boat, out on the lake. Boat. I'm out with my friends. Give me a beer. Boat beer. Yep. Boat beer. Doesn't yeah. matter if you're fishing, doesn't I, matter if you're partying. I had Bonfire in mind, and then I took it out for... Bonfire stock. That's a great one. That's a good one. That's that's unreal. Yeah. All right, let's go back through. This, as my honorable mention, we all know I quit Mountain Dew, but God forbid whenever I had one, <laughs> it was so good. 
So with that's my honorable mention. Still? I think Just I think still. Bane, if you get more specific, <laughs> yeah. post post morning team workout Mountain Dew. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Post or the like, holiday milk. Post golf hey, round man. dew. That's good. Okay. Qualifying Q school dew. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> gotta be the best. You made it on the number and then you crack the dew. <laughs> Nothing better. And then you start to grow a third leg. In addition, hundred. All right, who's up? E. Yeah, I mean my uh, HM is. It's hard to mention. Boat beer. Boat beer on a nice sunny day on a little pond thing mm-hmm. around the lake, sipping beverage. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one I put in because it's pretty common these days because I I don't travel a ton like every week, but um. First drink with my coworkers on a work trip mm-hmm. is a special moment. And it definitely, co-workers. if you're with somebody you don't know right away, it breaks the ice a little bit. I'd say it breaks up the monotony, too, when you first sit down. You know, everybody gets those beverages on the table. Um, that's got to be my own so That's moment. without a doubt. Without a doubt. That that loosens it up a bit. That breaks the ice. Um, e, I'm stealing yours for um, for my H&M. Pre going out beer in the shawi, we're that absolutely is hammering such a good music, one. hammering music. Usually, um, what's the what's the situation like? Um, a lot of hair. He's spray. usually naked. A lot of hairspray. Yeah, maybe he's in the shower. I'm putting a spray on. Hammer he's music. On we have no idea even what's going on yet for the night, right? Like <laughs> Pierce right. or yeah. uh, Ag would want to go over to the girl's house or um. Maybe just go across the street to G Pow's place and then That was the best. Or, that was always or the or we go down the street and watch Bachelorette or some shit. Either way, yeah. if you're going out Earls. and you want to get buckled, Earls. you haven't drank in a week. That's the best. I love that. And you, Shout out, Merle. you Yes, yes, for sure. That's it. That's my H num. For sure. Good list. Episode fifty eight, fellas. We made it through. Hopefully this gets out as soon as possible. Um, go follow us on all our social medias. Go like this videos. Go repost all our clips. Please help us grow. Yes, please. See you, boys. Good night.